Oh. Poof. My old factory just opened all up. And welcome to Fireside by the Beer Garden, Saul's Fire. They say the fire people haven't showed up yet to start our fire. So uh, it's a little chilly here in the Beer Garden. And uh, if you're here because you like beer, let's be honest, why else would you be? Please tap that subscribe button down below because I have low self-esteem and approval from internet people make me feel better about myself. I appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, also, I want to know in all seriousness uh, your, where you're watching this brew review from a uh, town and state or town and country I, I love reading where my viewers are in the world oslo norway thank you for watching it's awesome kalispell montana uh omaha nebraska thank you very much and i've been getting a lot of requests for texas beers be getting uh, a lot of uh, viewers from texas and check out some of my other brew reviews for shiner Shiner Bach and uh, last holiday, winter and holiday time, I did Shiner Holiday Cheer. And I just happened to see it uh, amidst uh, a bunch of other uh, requests for more Shiner beer. Um, I don't get a whole lot of Shiner beer where I am in Georgia, uh, but uh, the Shiner Holiday Cheer came out. And I like to do the holiday beers every year because sometimes the breweries change up the recipe a little bit. Whether the brewery changes the recipe or not, we as humans and beer drinkers are palate evolves or devolves over time it changes i'm always kind of interested in you know how my palate is growing or not growing uh check out my uh er early review i think was it last year was the first year i did it, it may have been two years ago uh and see how that stacks up i purposely did not watch it because i didn't want the score out of five stars coming up at the end of this brew review to influence what i would rate it this time so we'll see how close it is five points uh, 5.4 percent alcohol uh, I think it was around 9.99 for a six pack not really that cheap but if it's a good quality beer and around the holidays eh, spread the wealth a little bit I guess uh, what really drew me to this in the past because so many and I'm gonna be doing some more holiday brew reviews coming up and you just you hear about the spice and the nutmeg and the cinnamon it's just like oh god I'm not really a spicy alcohol kind of guy i'm not into spiced rum and spiced beer but god they just spice it to death what attracted me about shiner holiday cheer was uh ale brewed with peaches and pecans which i thought was really interesting where of course we're going to be drinking out of the sold out red label for 2023 Brew review pint glass soon to be replaced by a new label for 2024 and to be complemented by the uh, painted Richardson's leather patch trucker cap also to be uh, replaced for 2024. Uh, so a lot of you have been asking about those before they sell out. Where can I get one? Well, we haven't designed it yet, but coming out in 2024. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the top on this 5.4 percent Texas, Texas bear. All right. Uh, oh. I could have screwed. I could have twisted it off. Sorry about that. That's one of my signs of a of a cheap brew. Sorry. If your beer has a twist off cap, uh, that's a sign of a cheap brew. You know, there's a reason why, say, German beers that have been around for five, six hundred years, uh, they don't have twist off caps. Really, American brews are about the only ones that have twist off caps. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a pour, shall we? Into the uh, oh. All right, a lot darker than I remember uh, with peaches and pecans. I was thinking it may be a little bit lighter brew. Absolutely no head, as you can see right there, which sounds like an awful date. Uh, I don't want to say cranberry color, but an ambery cranberry kind of uh, a color. Let's give it a nose, shall we? Oh, Poof. my old factory just opened all up. Yeah, I got a nose full of peach. Uh, very sweet, very peachy in the nose. I'm not getting any pecans. I don't, I'm not getting any nuts in my nose. I'm anticipating the uh, the nuts on the uh, back end, on the, I mean, uh, in the taste, uh, the, the pecans. Okay. Uh, hey, here in the beer garden, as we're losing our light source, we don't drink alone. So grab yourself a beer and uh, get ready to drink that beer. 
and cheers. <sighs> Time to winter and holiday. Cold beer, cold day. Tears form. Calculating, calculating, calculating. Okay, very sweet. Uh, well, not overly sweet. I shouldn't say very sweet. There is a sweetness that is present. And then on the back end, there is a slight bitterness. I'm getting a slight uh, suggestion of the peach. I'm not really getting that nuttiness from the pecans. Maybe it's because I drank it too fast. A lot of people, you know, troll me down below. Say, you're drinking the beer too fast. How can you even tell what you're doing? You're drinking the beer too fast. You're not supposed to slam it. It's the way I drink beer. The the slightest bit of lacing that is attaching. If you're if you're new to beer drinking, <coughs> lacing lacing is the uh, sudsiness that attaches itself to the inside of the glass as you are drinking beer. And uh, lacing is a sign of a quality beer or quality ingredients in a beer. Let me know what you think down below if you're a fan of Shiner. Uh, and uh, mostly people from Texas. Not a whole lot of people outside of Texas really seem to get into Shiner. But uh, check out my brew review for Shiner Bach. I did a revisit of that because I hadn't had it forever. Uh, so for a winter and holiday uh, beer, Shiner Holiday out of five stars, uh, this is a good tasting beer. It has a, a light mouthfeel to it. Don't be thrown off by the darkness there. Uh, it doesn't taste spicy at all, thank God. 5.4%, so you got the the, the the relatives coming over. This will get you through the day. You shove a 12-pack in the back of your garage refrigerator and just keep uh, disappearing for uh, a while, every 20 minutes or so, and you'll be fine for the winter and holiday. So, out of five stars, I'm going to have to go ahead and put you... Up on the four shelf out of five stars, I'm going to put you at like a 4.12 out of five stars. Absolutely. Hey, again, please uh, tell me what town and state or town and country you are viewing this brew review from. And I'd love to hear it. Hey, it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden as we are fireside, Psalms Fire. So grab yourself a brew and you drink that brew. Happy winter and holiday. <laughs>